today I'm going to show you another resale unit in the Tanjong Rhu Enclave. District 15, Water Place. The only stack with sea view and stadium view. Hello, I'm the property strategist, Stephen Chong. Water Place is a 99-year leasehold property, QOP in 2004, making Water Place one of the youngest projects in Tanjong Rhu cluster. There are a total of 437 units in this project, and they are spread across seven towers. This project is developed by Far East Organization. The unit that I'm going to show you is a 1216 square feet, three bedroom with utility and a yard. A dining room which is huge and potentially close up to be the fourth bedroom or a study room. We have a beautiful partial sea view from your living room and your master bedroom. And we have a direct stadium view from your dining room. This is the entrance foyer. There is a suspended shoe cabinet and a seat. The owner purposely designed this space empty so that it is easy to clean and a place to charge your robot vacuum. After the foyer, on the left is the kitchen and on the right is the living room. Very spacious living room with 3.5 wall to wall distance. It is currently fitted with a huge recliner sofa and a chair, tastefully designed and renovated 6 years ago with the featured wall, TV console, cabinets and four ceiling. And the whole unit electrical rewiring has been done. Floor to ceiling windows making the unit very bright. Now let's talk about the location. Water Place is located in Tanjong Ru, which is the nearest part of District 15 to the city. Just next to the upcoming Tanjong Ru MRT stations along Thomson East Coast Line. In 2024, you are just 4 stops away to Marina Bay MRT Interchange where you can actually hop over to the North South Line or Circle Line. Another 3 stops is Autumn Park MRT where you got another 2 interchange East West Line and North East Line. Before Tanjong Ru MRT is ready, you can actually walk to Stadium MRT Station along the Circle Line in 10 minutes. Over there, you have Kalang Web Mall and Leisure Park Kalang. Other nearby shopping mall, you have Parkway Parade and Suntec City. If you drive, this place is super accessible for you. Come out from the Fraud Road, you turn left to PIE and KPE. You come out, you turn right, ECP and MCE. Now, let me show you the highlight of this unit. The view from the living room. There is no balcony in this development. If you look at the condo from the top, you will see that there are many different kind of facings that you will get. There are stacks that facing internally that looking into the pools. There are also stacks that looking into Century Green or Pepper Bay. Only a few stacks that having stadium view. And of course, Tower A1, A2 and A3 will have the beautiful sea view. However, you got to compromise with the traffic noise because the expressway is just in front. We are here at Tower B. This is the quieter facing because you are further away from the expressway. If you see clearly, we are the only one stack that having both sea view and stadium view. And no other units are looking into your living room. That's the sea view towards the Marina East direction. I have a better view to show you in the master bedroom letter. You might ask me, what are these buildings in front? They are Tanjong Ru MRT exit and I was told that the management plans to open a side gate here in the future when the MRT is ready in 2024. Now looking at the original floor plan, there was an enclosed kitchen, but it was hacked away and made into an open concept kitchen with a good sized kitchen island. Adding a kitchen island immediately creates a breakfast bar as well as additional storage and countertop space for your food prep. This is perfect to interact with your family members while you are preparing your food. In addition, the owner installs two power points underneath the countertop. That means you can also do your work with a laptop here. In case you enjoy heavy cooking, you can always enclose the kitchen by installing foldable glass doors. Other than the kitchen island, we have more storage space above and below the microwave oven, top and bottom cabinet.
we have a cooker hood and hob and a sink at the corner plus a small window next to it. Behind the kitchen door, there is a yard, utility room and WC. Currently, the owner is using that as a helper's room. Let's talk about the floor plan. Here in Water Place, we have over 20 types of 3-bedroom layouts. However, in general, we have mainly 2 common types of 3-bedroom. Now, I'm going to highlight what are the major differences and some of the pros and cons. Firstly, our bedroom position is unique. The common bedrooms are tucked into one end, whereas the master bedroom is on the other side. The good thing is, you will have more coverage of different views. Like our unit got the sea view from the master bedroom and the pool view from the commons. Whereas another floor plan is more like a conventional layout. Three of the bedrooms are on the same side and all the bedrooms will have the same facing. Secondly, all our bedroom's shape is regular. Whereas the other floor plans are having the curvy shape. Thirdly, our dining room is positioned in one corner with windows. Therefore, it can be closed up to make your fourth bedroom or study room. Since we are talking about the dining room, let me show you. This is a huge dining room that potentially becomes your fourth bedroom or study room if you wish to. We are facing the stadium view and this building is another Tanjong Ru MRT exit. You might want to know what will be this plot of land going to be. Under the URA master plan, this site is drawn for commercial use with a plot ratio of 1.5. High chance that there could be the waterfront restaurant something like Bungo Settlement. This is important uh, because there won't be any tall buildings suddenly pop up so that your beautiful view will be protected. Now I'm going to show you something important, pricing analysis. Let's look at the project nearby. We start from the oldest project here, Park Shaw, TOP in 1995, although it is the oldest here, but this is the only one freehold project in the cluster. Their unit size are relatively bigger from more than 1,600 square feet onwards with the asking price above 3 million. Followed by Kaswarina Kof, TOP in 1996, about 1,500 square feet for a 3 bedroom unit, asking price from 2.28 million. Tanjong Ria, TOP in 1997, 1,400 square feet, price between 1.85 and 2 million. Next, we have the iconic project Costa Ru, TOP in 1998, size around 1,700 square feet, price around 2.6 million. Pepper Bay, also TOP in 1998, size almost 1,900 square feet, and the price is 3.2 million onwards. And TOP in 2001, we have Camelot by the water, but the sizes are super huge, like 2,400 square feet, so the asking price quantum is beyond 4 million. The second newest project here is Sanctuary Green, which which is right beside Water Place. TOP in 2003, unit size ranging from 3119 to 1399 square feet, price from 1.67 to 2.5 million. Now comes to Water Place, the newest project in this cluster, TOP in 2004, size between 1216 to 1496 square feet, price ranging from 1.9 to 2.28 million. So after comparing the age and the pricing, among the projects in this cluster, I feel that my unit in Water Place has a great entry quantum as well as the safe PSF for you to consider. Now let's continue our home tour at the common bedrooms. Both the bedrooms are tucked into one end. For bedroom 2, currently it is fitted with a long full height cabinet. Closer to the window, this part, it is not a bare window. Eh? There are storage cabinet that is removable. So if you wish to place your bed here, you might want to remove the existing cabinets and install an L-shaped wardrobe. Put a queen size bed and a study table. For bedroom 3, the size is almost the same with an additional entryway here. This is how it looks like, almost similar but without the long cabinet. Again, the storage cabinet beside the windows is removable because it is not a bare window.
Now I'm going to show you the common bathroom. It is renovated and tastefully done with mirror cabinet, quartz vanity top, rain shower and the dim lighting as well. Tanjong Ru is an estate that has yet to reach its full potential. Despite its being an old estate with almost 20 years, it will still likely appreciate in the next 5 years because the government is injecting billion dollars for the transformation around this area. The question is when and what? All the while, Tanjong Ru is only accessible via public bus. Alternatively, you can walk to Stadium MRT within 10 minutes. From 2024 onwards, you will enjoy the ultimate convenience with the upcoming Tanjong Ru MRT right at your doorstep. With seamless connectivity, this will draw a lot of demand and push up the rental and the price in the future. A total of 6 facilities will be built to extend the Singapore Sports Hub. This include Kalang Football Hub, Singapore Tennis Centre, Youth Hub, Velodrome, Benaan Kapal Green, a live gateway and loop and the redevelopment of Kalang Theatre. All this will create more amenities, job opportunities and bring life into this area. Under the URA master plan, Tanjong Ru Promenade will be commercialized. With a plot ratio of just 1.5, your view won't be blocked. High chance there will be waterfront dining restaurants like Pungo Settlement in time to come. This will be another amenities and attraction in the future. There are some future residential projects in the deep side of Tanjong Ru. High chance they will be launching after the MRT is completed beyond 2500 PSF. Kampong Bugis is one of the transformation hotspots under URA master plan. Spanning across a huge 8.5 hectares of land, the white site at Kampong Bugis will comprise 4,000 private homes and 50,000 square meters of mixed-use space. Because of the wonderful location in between Lavender and Kalang MRT, I expect the future selling price there will be 3,000 PSF. So the price gap between the water place and all the upcoming new launch will make water place even more attractive. Before we look at the master bedroom, let me show you the master bathroom first. It comes with a sunken bath. This is creative because it offers easy entry and exit which is great for everyone. At the same time, it is spacious enough for young parents to bath their kids. Now let's look at the highlight of the home tour, the master bedroom. Currently, it is fitted with a 4 panel wardrobe and a king size bed. If you remove the steam closet and the baby cot here, you can tell our master bedroom is really huge. Ample space to walk around. Regular shape, easy for your design and furniture placement. Now let me show you the amazing view from your master bedroom. The condo facilities are spread over two levels. On level 2, we have two tennis court, half basketball court, fish ponds, barbecue pits with pavilions, and children playground. Whereas level 1, we have jacuzzi, swimming pools, pool slides, function room, and the gym. Let me emphasize the layout of this 3 bedroom unit. 3 of our bedrooms are in good size and regular shape. There is no bare window and balcony in this condo. So every single area in this unit is the usable space. If you're looking for a general size of more than 1,200 square feet, 3 bedroom plus utility room in District 15, this might be one of the best unit that you can find in this development and even the Tanjong Ru cluster. Thanks for joining me for the home tour. If you would like to find out more, contact me at 9188 7652. Once again, I'm Steven Chong. Hope to see you soon. Bye.